Managing commissions in IDEV Affiliate is probably the one task you're going to do um, the most of. Um, so knowing how to properly manage your commissions, know where to find commissions um, is important. Um, because again, I think it's probably when you log in uh, on a daily basis or um, you know a couple times a week, I think the first thing you're going to probably do is go straight to the commissions so you can approve commissions, decline commissions, pay commissions, um, stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to click on commissions on the left menu and you'll see we've got a couple options here. We're going to run through each one of them. Um, the most important sections are um, these two, in my opinion, um, because those are the two where you're spending the bulk of your time. So let's go straight into it pending approval. Um, and we instantly get a, uh, a list of all commissions that are currently pending approval. In this uh, demo install, we've got 146 commissions currently pending approval. Um, and I want to show you what the legend is before we move in. Um, you'll notice you've got a, a flag, a, a color indicated flag here. You've got green, blue, yellow, red. The legend down here will, will tell you exactly what that means. Green means there's no tier, there's no override, there's no nothing. It's just a, a standalone um, one-off commission um, given to directly to the referring affiliate. Blue means there's an override involved. Red means there's a tier involved. And yellow means there's both a tier and a override involved. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that in a second here. Um, but I wanna show you quickly, first off, the um, bulk actions here you can um, check off several commissions at once. If you happen to know all four of these are good, I can bulk approve those all in one shot. Um, and you'll notice we've now went down to 142 and those have moved over into um, currently approved. And you can do the same thing with obviously bulk decline. You can dec decline commissions. So you say to yourself, okay, well, why is the, there's checkboxes missing here? Well, notice these commissions have additional commissions attached to them, um, overrides and tiers. Um, and the reason you can't um, auto or bulk approve commissions with um, tiers or overrides attached to them is because in theory, um, and I'm not saying this is probably going to happen. I don't, I've never seen it happen, but in theory, it could happen you, because IDEV Affiliate allows you to set up up to 10 overrides and 10 tiers. In theory, you could be approving 21 commissions for one sale if the right combinations were to hit and you've got all that enabled um, that is a a possibility um, again i've never seen it I, I don't know that it could happen but you could certainly um, be approving four or five commissions per sale sure if you've got um, two or three tiers enabled and and maybe a master or override account um, so we wanted you to we, we wanted to, to take a look at the commission before we go and approve it. So you'll you'll see I'm looking at a commission that's got a tier on it. So the first thing we see here is the actual order details. We've got our order number that came from the shopping cart. We've got the date, customer IP that's missing because this is sample data. Um, we've got our sale amount, order time. Um, and then in this dark blue section, this is our primary referring affiliate. This is the affiliate who generated this commission for us. Um, and we do have the option to switch um, the assignment here to a different affiliate if we need to. Probably not going to use that very often. Um, I would think this is only going to be used where you've got maybe a dispute. One affiliate says I generated the commission. The other one says he generated the commission. I definitely had to choose based on your customer tracking settings, which is in a whole different video. Um, but up in here, customer tracking is where you'll define who would get the commission in that scenario. Maybe you've talked to both affiliates and have decided, yeah, the other affiliate really needs to get the commission. So you can do that here. You can reassign it here if you need to. Um, and then here's your tier commission that, that came along with this um, commission. If you're not familiar with um, tiers, you want to go up to commission settings, tier payout levels, and there's a video talking about um, tiers, what they are, how to enable them. But basically, it allows your affiliates to recruit other affiliates and earn tier commissions along with them. So a um, whole different video. But you will, the one thing I wanted to um, cover here is you've got, this is a $100 commission amount with a $10 um, tier commission for a total of 110 we see here. 
we can change this if we want. If we want to make that $150, that's now $160. We want to make this $100. We can change the commission amounts at the time of approval, which is nice. So um, once you've decided this is a good commission, I want to approve it, hit the approve commission button, bingo, it goes over here to currently approved. Um, if you don't want to, uh, hit the decline and you'll decline that commission. So um, going back to our list, I'll show you, um, that's one with a tier on it. Here's one with an override. So instead of the tier, we've got an override here. And the override is done up in here, override commissions. You can assign a um, parent-child relationship so that anytime uh, one affiliate earns a commission, an override um, can be given to another affiliate, sort of like a, a sales manager um, with salespeople underneath, um, something like that, a scenario like that might um, be something I see the most of. Um, so same scenario with tiers, only it's an override. And then I want to show you both real quick before we move on. Um, here's a commission that actually has both um, an override and a tier on it. So we've got three commissions here that we're paying out on this one sale. We've got our referring affiliate, our tier commission, our, our override commission, and our tier commission for a total of $49.95. So again, we can change these if we need to. But again, like I was saying, you could have up to 10 tiers enabled and 10 overrides. You could literally see a whole page full of commissions here just for this one sale. So um, again, this is where you'll find any pending um, commissions. This is where you can manage them. Once they have been approved, um, they'll show up here in this list, currently approved. We've got 9,800 of them right now. Um, and if you need to um, quick search for an order number, um, 6761, for instance, I can go up here into the search box and that'll, that'll give me 6761. Now, somewhere in here, um, is other 6761s, whether it's, um, part of the account, maybe the phone number or something like that. It's a global search. So, um, but it is a quick way to, to get to the commissions if you need to find them. Um, or I can just, I can copy that and paste that. It'll only give me commissions for this particular username, or you can do the same thing with the ID number. So it's, it's quick and easy to find the commissions if you're looking for a specific one. Um, but you'll notice these are current, um, currently approved commissions have not been paid yet, but they are approved. From here, we can, um, again, view the details if we want, we can unapprove this commission. Um, or we can actually do that straight from here, just hit unapprove, sends it back to the pending approvals list. Um, so before we move on, the um, I want to give you the states. You've got uh, three different states a commission can be in. Pending approval, currently approved, and paid or archived. Those are the three states. So as a commission comes in, it's going to be pending your approval. You'll then approve it. Once it's approved, when you're ready to pay your affiliates, you're going to come down here to pay affiliates. A whole different video on pay affiliates. But once you actually pay out, all these current commissions, they come out of here and go into the archives. And this gets um, reset uh, for the account back to zero until they generate more commissions and you approve more commissions for them. Um, now, if you do decline a commission, remember we talked about declining a commission. If I'm in pending, pending approval and I go here, this is order number, uh, well, it's just called order testing. But if I decline this commission, I can come over here to my declined list and you'll see here's order number. Uh, testing because I just declined this commission. This is sort of a log, if you will. Um, so that way, when you're declining the commission, you're not permanently removing it from the system. You can do that from from here. You can, I can say, okay, permanently delete it, or I can say, no, I made a mistake, reactivate it, send it back to pending. Now, that's only if you have this setting turned on. If you have it turned off, if you say no, and I come over here and I decline a commission, it's it's permanently removed. That's gone. I just permanently removed it from the system completely. That's not in any um, log. It's not in the declined commissions list. You'll see we still have our testing here. It didn't come in. Um, so that's your declined list. Now your delayed commissions. This is an optional feature to use if you want to use it. It's up here, delayed commissions. And what this is, if you enable this, instead of your commissions as they're generated, coming into the pending approvals list, they'll come into the delayed list. Now what will happen is IDEV affiliate will automatically, based on your settings, automatically process this commission after the time period has expired. So you'll notice in the delayed commission settings for the sample here, it says 
Number of days to delay, 90. Take action, action to take when, when the 90 days is up. I want to either automatically approve that commission or send it to the pending approvals list so I can manually approve it. One of the two is going to happen. Um, so these commissions are waiting. This is going to count down each day at midnight, um, 89, 88, 87, et cetera. Once it gets to zero, it this commission is going to get processed. And again, it'll either be currently approved or sent to pending, depending on what your setting is. Um, so, you know, it would be the same thing to give you an example of letting a commission sit here in this pending approvals list for 90 days and then manually approving it when you're ready. Only iDev affiliates automatically going to do that for you. It's the same thing. The only catch to this feature is if you're going to use this feature, you do have to set up a cron job. Um, the cron is what manages it every night. And that's set up on your server. Your web hosting provider will likely have to help you set that up if you're not familiar with the cron job. Um, but that, yeah, it, that, that's the only um, sort of catch to the feature is setting up a cron job. So getting back to our commissions here, I want to talk about recurring commissions for a second because what you need to understand what the what we mean by a recurring commission what we mean is internally managed recurring commissions this is really a feature that's um sort of it's sort of deprecated it's very old um it comes from the older versions of idev affiliate it's still in there we still have it in there because we i do know of some customers who still do use it um but it is deprecated and at some point it will come out. Eventually we'll do a release and you just won't have it anymore. That's not to say that obviously IDEV Affiliate doesn't do recurring commissions. It absolutely does. It just does them in a different way. Um, in the early days of IDEV Affiliate, the cart systems and the billing systems, we didn't have recurring um, integrations for those systems. So what we do is we take in the one-time commission and then IDEV Affiliate would automatically um, recur the commission for you every 30 days until manually shut off there was no it was not a, a real-time live system it wasn't in sync with the actual billing cycle of the customer um so you know nowadays we have better integrations we have it set up so that you know if you're integrating with member mouse member mouse is automatically going to trigger the commission every 30 days for you every billing cycle for you so there's no need to enable recurring commissions here in idev affiliate at all because again it's the internally managed recurring commissions the system like, for instance, I, I use Member Mouse as an example. Member Mouse is automatically going to manage the recurring commissions for you. So um, unless you're using a very old system, don't have a uh, built-in integration for recurring with it, um, you're probably not going to re uh, enable recurring commissions, even though you're doing recurring commissions. I know it sounds funny to say, but again, this is internally managed recurring commissions. So if you have any questions on this, contact our support department, let them know what billing system you're integrating with, and they'd be happy to help you um, decide whether or not to enable this, this feature. But I can already tell you 99 out of 100 times, you're not going to, and probably even less than that, but you're, you're not going to enable this feature. Um, the only other one here is create a commission. And again, with IDEV Affiliate, commission generation is, is completely automated um, with your shopping cart integration. Um, th here you can manually create a commission if you want. Again, it's for creating bonuses or um, spiffs, offline commissions um, that didn't get, that weren't set up through the, the built-in offline commissioning feature. You can um, manually create a commission here basically for any reason at all um, just set the commission amount set the sale amount and set an order number for it and you can pick any affiliate to instantly give a commission to um, in fact let's do it um, we'll say the commission amount is going to be fifty dollars our sale amount was 125 dollars and our order number is um, manual test all right so it says commission created it's now in the pending approvals list. So if I go over to pending approvals, here it is right here. Manual test, $50 for 10,009. If I go to view details, my sale amount's 125. So here's here you can see the commission. You also see an override on it because anytime this commission, this affiliate gets a commission, there's an override for him. The overrides and the tiers automatically follow along with whatever account has generated the main commission. So that's um, managing your commissions. The only thing um, left off with um, regards to commission is actually paying your affiliates. That's covered in the next video in this series. Um, so go ahead and check that video out to continue on from here to learn how to pay all of these commissions.